All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today we are looking at a young potted fig tree and we're training it for the proper form. We are trying to set this tree up so that it has the best life going forward as possible. And this is all about basically just using some stakes, as you can see here, some bamboo stakes, and also some limb spreaders. These are real easy, cost-effective tools. In fact, you can even just harvest bamboo, maybe in your backyard, dry it, let it sit out for a bit, and then you can place this in the pot and attach your limbs or your scaffolds here that we're doing today to the particular stake. And so that's the name of the game here. We're trying to basically set up this form so that we have a main trunk. You can see the main trunk's nice and healthy and clean. It grew straight up in the air. We staked it last year. We then topped it. And after topping it in the wintertime, it sent out all this new growth here that you see. And this new growth is beautiful. It's super healthy. It's got a lot of fruit on it. We've done a really nice job getting this tree happy and healthy and actually fruiting this season in its second year. I got this tree, by the way, from my friend Anthony in Philadelphia. Shout out to Anthony. This is the Bari that he gave me. It's a hardy Chicago that I'm quite excited to try. So what I've got now is the stakes in the ground or in the pot. And all I'm going to do is take these scaffolds and bend them on an angle. So rather than having them grow straight up in the air, as a lot of them like to grow straight up and a lot of the new growth of fig trees likes to grow upwards, we need to open that up. And especially these scaffolds, which are gonna be permanent and are really important for the structure of our tree, we need to open this stuff up. And so there we have it. We're just gonna uh, stake this particular branch on a more horizontal angle. Instead of being a 90 degree angle, we're putting it more on like a 45 or let's say even a 30 to 35 degree angle. And so that's all it is. That's opening up the center. That's allowing this rounded crown that figs like to achieve uh, take place. And we're on our way to success. So I've got a stake on the other end and I also have a stake on the other side. Let's throw a limb spreader in here and see what happens. That's what's basically gonna open this up even more. And so we can use these as well that a lot of people who are into bonsai they use these and that's just going to put even more of these limbs here on a bit of a horizontal angle um, in fact the limb spreaders really are not the perfect tool for this job what i'm going to do is i'm going to come in here in the back i'm going to put another stake in and yes this is a lot of stakes and this is totally necessary i would not do this if i didn't have to and the amount of benefits from doing this is incredible. We get an easier time fruiting. Our trees produce more fruit. Um, we also have a higher fruit quality. And we are setting up the tree for the future so that we will have good fruit set pretty much at all times going forward. So that's it. Now, if you can see, the branches are really spread out. And there's five of them. So whatever a five-sided shape is, what is that, a pentagon? Yeah, the pentagon. Pentagon's five shapes, five sides, but let's assume that each one of these scaffolds is going in the corner of all five of those shapes, or the corner of, of the five-sided shape. So if it was a box, we would have four corners, and so each scaffold would go in the corner of the box. The same thing with the Pentagon, and we would have exactly what you see here, except we need to do a little bit more fine-tuning, maybe in about a month as the rest of these scaffolds continue to grow. We'll open these two up here a little bit more and open this up a little bit more, this one in the front and then this one in the back. And that's it. We are going to be on our way to success. If you enjoyed this video and you're, I know you're benefiting from these videos, hit that subscribe button for me, guys. Hit that like button. Check out the blog, figboss.com. That was a quick and easy tutorial on training young fig trees properly. See you soon.